Today, I'm going to show you guys how to make a notification UI inside of Roblox Studio. Shop our unlimited access bundle to get all current and future assets. Check it out with the first link down below. Alright guys, welcome back. Um, so, I intend to keep this uh, video relatively short and simple. I don't want to get too complex. So, we're going to start with a screen GUI right here. Uh, we could obviously name this appropriately and I'm going to open up UI tools right here. We're going to add a frame. We're going to call this canvas. We're going to go for a fit parent, set anchor and background uh, off. And now we're going to add a frame. We're going to uh, anchor to the center or you can use the anchor point properties right here. So basically 0.5 and 0.5 like so. And now I'm just going to uh, size or scale rather this frame until we have something nice like so um, I'm going to add a corner I'm going to change the radius uh, from offset to zero and scale to round 0.1 like so I'm gonna call this our main now I'm going to make the color dark or actually, let's go for a UI gradient. Uh, I'm going to go for a rotation of negative 90 for now. We're going to try some things out. I'm going to go for a nice dark gray. We can experiment with a color in the middle, like so, very slightly. And then perhaps we can change the rotation to 55. That seems to be fine for me. I'm going to change the transparency to 0.05. Okay, now I'm going to copy main. So control C, we're going to hit control shift V to paste inside. I'm going to call this our stroke. I'm going to uh, add a UI stroke here. Increase the thickness three and change the color to white. I'm going to uh, resize the stroke this uh, frame to something like this I suppose uh, radius adjust to 0 0.05 nope 0 0.075 and then we're going to hide the background for stroke so background transparency to one and inside of UI stroke we're gonna add a gradient all right so now we can adjust the gradient to our desired uh, colors so I'm gonna go for a three color system here we go for like a blue with the uh, white in the middle kind of like this uh, maybe add like a fourth point eh it's not really necessary but it's okay we can try this out can also change the angle obviously to 45 so now we have something more along the lines of this right here and now we can obviously add some text so we're gonna add a text label I'm gonna go for text scaled I'm going to change the font to Fredoka 1 uh, hide the background text color white hit ok I'm gonna copy the stroke gradient and go control shift V to paste and now I'm gonna add a stroke to the text as well so now we have a nice title notification as you can see uh, scale this to your liking I'm gonna copy our text and uh, this right here is going to be our main text description so I'm going to remove our gradient and modify the stroke change the transparency 0.75 I will say and then here we're going to type out our we're gonna type our main text so this right here is our main text 
body of our notification interface. So. Okay. Here we go. And I'm going to make sure all these are scale. So I'm going to hit scale, scale, like so. And now lastly, we're going to add a button. So we're going to add a frame to start. Size this accordingly. We want to copy our corner. Uh, point one seems to work out fine. We want to readjust these proportions. Okay, I'm going to add a gradient as well, negative 90, now I'm going to add some kind of a greenish color, like so. Alright, so let me try this out, for example, I'm going to add a stroke here, boom, change the color. Actually, I want this to be more round, so point two, and I'm just going to copy and paste the text right here. Okay. <laughs> and then here I am going to remove the gradient. And right here is our complete notification. Um, if you want, hold on. Uh, I'm going to convert to a button real quick. If you want, you can place this like position this thing like right here. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, make sure to drop a like down below and check out our store. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.